Well, this morning, Mackenzie McClintock is right down the road at the Panama City Center for the Arts, getting uh, a look at some of the, the artwork that they have displayed and also telling us about some of the classes that even we can participate in. That's right. Mackenzie, have you, uh, is that any of your paintings back there? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Thanks so much for being with us. No, none of these paintings behind me are mine. I am definitely not that talented, but one local Floridian artist is, and she's been generous enough to put some of her work here on display at the Panama City Center for the Arts. Here to tell us more about it is Jason Kretzer. He's a director at this building full of information about the great artwork you can see. Thanks so much for being with us. Absolutely. Yeah, what you're looking at is Colette Originals muralist out of Tallahassee that put together this show to really highlight some of the greats, uh, the great artists of our time, or of time before us even, um, to, to let people know a little bit more about these, these artists and that these pieces were originally art before they were handbags. <laughs> so. Absolutely. We've seen mainstream culture, yeah, take a lot of these pieces and turn them into something else. And this is what this artist did by putting the artists themselves into the picture that they originally painted. Right. Absolutely. And the cool thing about this exhibit is we have interactive stuff to go along with it. So if you come in, we've got a trivia sheet, we've got facts, we've got a place where you can actually try your hand to, to recreate one of these yourself and stick it on the wall for everybody to see. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun and free to the public. Of course. And then outside of this exhibit, you've got several different classes that are going to be coming up. Kind of talk to us about those ways that people in the community can get involved. Yes. Starting in September, September 5th, we have a new watercolor class with Jan Benikoff, and we have a whimsical signs and lettering class with one of our new teachers, Pam Camp. And you're going to be creating a sign, and uh, it's, it's really good holiday-themed kind of stuff, as well as we have our kids class every Thursday afternoon uh, where kids learn different uh, ways to paint and sculpt like the masters. And then you also have a super, super important competition for you guys coming up one of your biggest you'll do all year with photography. It's going to be in this exact room. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we have the F-Stop Photography Competition. So that is intaking. You bring your photos in Thursday through Saturday of this week. And there's six different categories. There's youth. Uh, you can take it with your iPhone. Just bring it in, framed, all that good stuff. And it's going to be like a big photo album in here. And then we've been talking all morning, you know, going on and on about how you don't have to be some super pro to, to enter into these competitions. Like you said, you can even use your iPhone for your technology sometimes. Kind of give people at home maybe a little encouragement if they're on the fence about entering. They don't have to be the next Michelangelo to get here. Absolutely. In fact, one of those steps to getting better is entering competitions and being part of the community. Uh, I've heard so many people that entered this competition say they learned so much just from entering. So don't feel like you already have to be a pro. That kind of defeats the purpose. The competitions are really for the community as a whole. And then anything else about you guys' this hours of operation that you want to give people at home if they do want to submit any of those photos for this competition? Yeah, Tuesday through Saturday is when we're open, but this competition will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday until 5 p.m. You can bring your stuff in. Perfect. Okay, well, we're going to give our hand at recreating one of them with our own touch. We think we might be able to do this. I'll hold the microphone here. I think we look pretty good. Yeah? Thanks for being with us today on News 13. Stay with us.